What is up, everybody? We are here for another edition of our PGA Golf. Uh, we've got one one week till the Masters, which I'm really excited about. Right? It is one week, right? Yeah. Um, that, that one I'm really excited about. Um, I've done a little bit of research on this one. Sheets, I think that you've probably, you're probably a little bit ahead of me on this one. So we're going to talk over our favorite plays. I've got a list of only like 10 golfers right now, but I've got a bunch of question marks. So we're going to get into it. Um, any overall things on this slate that you want to mention before we jump into player by player? Yeah. yeah so uh, first of all, uh, as you guys may or, you know, hopefully know, I mean, I, I did, I'm trying to make it easy for you. So I'm doing the, uh, the contest again. I have two plays um, who I am basically locking in and I did outright bets on and I gave everybody three guesses to come up with either of them. And um if anybody gets either any one of them, we get uh, you get a, a free coaching session. And if there's a tie, um, then it goes to um, whoever got the close uh, the one ranked the highest. Um, I gave a little hint that it was someone who I've recommended in this and this not I don't know whether it's this particular format, but in one of those formats before and one guy who was going to be very difficult to get. Um, and people have, have, have put their, their selections in. And before I spoil who or if anybody won, um, uh, Bobby, you want to take a shot? So two guys that you're locking in and you're betting on. Yeah, there's, and you get three guesses. Okay. And so my, my hint, again, is that people, uh, one of the guys I've, I've, I've mentioned, I've brought up before uh, several times, and the other one I, have, I don't think I've ever brought up. So it's going to be difficult to get. Well, you could oh. probably guess, you know, somebody I've never guessed before, whatever. Well, shoot, because that that takes away the guy who I was going to say was the first guy that seemed fairly obvious, um, which was, I'll still go ahead and guess him. Um, I'll say, uh, it's going to be wrong, but I'll say Abraham answer. Okay. Um, I will say, let me see one thing. I had this listed out. Um, hold on one second. Uh Uh, <laughs> John Hu, okay, and Doug Gim. Okay, um, we'll we'll get to it, but I I just want to right. I just want I just want to tell you I'm gonna get to whether Bobby is right or something in a minute, but all I'll say is you guys suck. I mean I, I went through all of your all. Of your, I'm not talking about you, Bob. We'll get to you in a minute. Um, but you guys all suck. I mean, the, the fact that you didn't pay attention with, with who I've been, what type of guys have been playing, who, what type of guys have been bringing it up before, the fact that I gave you guys these three freaking guesses and nobody came up with one, I was even thinking, oh, maybe I'll just give somebody a break. You guys don't deserve it. So, so we're, we're gonna, it's going to have to be pushed back another week so you guys finally figure out to not play the freaking top chalk guy. Um, and and well, we'll, get, we'll get to who my guys are like when we get there um let's do it one of one of them you'll agree when you hear who this is bobby um yeah. just so i mean you'll agree it's like one of the more obvious there is but anyway we'll get there so so let's start with the um with and again we're getting to like really the end of my research i've looked at all of it i'm down to my plays and you know and i've, I've you know consulted i've you know i went to rick's side you know because he i've guy I totally respect on this and whenever he likes something that i like it, it totally like firms it up for me if you want yep. to the truth. and yep. and guys that that he likes that i'm kind of half on i'll throw in my player pool that's just the way i, I do my, that's the way i run my life um so uh the you want okay so so you tell me what you know what you don't but so the top t over 10k i'll just start with that for me um i'm gonna be making two very very I'm making one really dangerous fade. Um, it, uh, this, I, I'm not playing speed. Um, I, I, uh, I'm just not. Uh, he's probably going to win. And I'm just not going to have any. The, the, I, I like Finau a little bit. Um, and I like Scheffler a little bit too. I like Scheffler more than Finau. Um, and I think Scheffler is, you know, he's going to be about 15, 20% owned. He's fine. I mean, he's going to be in my, well, one of my spend ups. And Finau is going to be 20%. He's a little worse. So those are my two favorite ones. And I'm not going to play uh, Hideki. So I'm not playing Hideki. I'm not playing Speed. Um, and uh, I do like Scheffler and Finau a little bit. you have any preference of these four guys? Yeah, I, I'm sorry to say that I unfortunately did have Speed um, yeah. as, as a pretty high priority here. Um, 
but I don't think it's an absolute must. I like to be ahead of the field on Scheffler. Um, I just always, uh, I, I, I still believe like when, he, when he's priced up, the ownership doesn't get to where it should be when he's priced down. I, I just think he's, a, he's, he's awesome. And he's, and he, you know, my breakout, one of my breakout guys this year. I, I do think I, I do think I'll have uh, little bits of him, but I'll definitely be as always well below the field on Finau, which always you know that just doesn't scare me. Just it's a guy who's going to be really popular who I don't have a ton of interest in, and um, he's the one I have the least interest of anybody in the top. And even Hideki is probably just a ten percent guy for me, but that's probably going to be near the field or something. Okay, so for me in the nine K range, um, my t- again, none of neither of these guys are the guys I'm locking in, but. Uh, the top, my top rated guy on the slate, actually, uh, just but but you know, without factoring ownership, is Corey Connors at 9,500. Um, mm-hmm. He's going to be like 25% owned, so it's nothing, no great shakes, but definitely, I definitely like him. And then actually, guy, I mean, Abram Answer is is um, you know one of my top guys. Um, he's again going to be up probably about 20%. So I'm definitely playing a lot of them, but he's just not one of those like the sneaky guy I'm locking in, right? Right. So I do like Connors. I do like Answer. Um, one thing I will say, you said, give me some overviews on the slate. You know, again, you take a guy like Charlie Hoffman, like for example, he's like 9,200. Remember, it wasn't that long ago. He was like 7K, all right? And, and there are other guys that are 7K today, for example, mm-hmm. who were 7K the same week that Charlie Hoffman was 7K. And Charlie Hoffman at 45 or however old he did not become a better golfer than these guys in like six weeks. Okay. So there, I think there are going to be some value spots like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm not playing here. The, the um, that's and then the, my next favorite um, uh, 9k guy is actually Cameron Tringali 9,300. Um, and that's where I'm at in the, in for these 9k guys. Yeah. Um, it's pretty, pretty much. Actually, they. All, I can make a good case for a lot of these guys. I like the. I like uh, Answer and Tringale the most. Okay. Um, I think Corey Connors and Ryan Palmer would be the next two for me, and they're pretty close. And uh, Brennan Steele would be my other favorite. I'm not going to say I'm going to X out Charlie Hoffman, or I'm going to X out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But uh, I, and and I get I get it with Charlie Hoffman, right? The guys made a bunch of cuts and actually like been in the top 20 and I think like seven of 11 or something like that. I don't know. Or top 25. I kind of get it, but I, I also think that partly that comes in when he's really a value play and he's, he's like, as you mentioned, not, not really that value play anymore. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm okay. Just letting go of the rest of this and I'm not gonna, I don't have any Matt Kuchar love. So he's the last one. Uh, okay. Uh, moving down to the 8K range, my, this is rough. I mean, and my, my locking plays are not coming from this range either, but, but it feels dirty, but, but, but I do have Chris Kirk as a good, as like a top five value, even though he's like pretty high owned, man, 19% or something like that. 20% for him seems tough, but that, that's where I have him. And then the other guys I like um, are Cam Davis, who's got a lot of volatility to him for sure. But he's 8,800. And then your man, freaking back to uh, Sam Burns at 8K, all the way down to 8K. Yeah. Um, so I definitely like him. And those are my favorites in the 8K range. I do have Zach Johnson listed, but he's just not a guy I play with too, all, all too often. But uh, those are my 8K guys. Yeah, Zach Johnson's always weird because it's like <laughs> you never know what to do with that guy. Um, I feel like every time I play him, he does well, but it, like all of his advanced numbers don't look good, so it's, it's always yeah. weird. Um, so I, I like okay, I, it sucks in this range because I'm, I'm not really getting way off the board with anything yet. I can maybe do that with some of my value. My favorite, but the, the highest own play I'll have is going to be Sam Burns, and I, I, I don't it. think it's going to be particularly close. I just I think love it. A I smash love it. like. Um, and I, unfortunately he's going to go back to being popular. I think this week, I've heard a little too much buzz about him. Um, uh, other than that, huh, uh, Keegan Bradley has been playing really well, mild interest there, mild interest in Zach Johnson. I really, I do like Chris Kirk. Um, and I like Lanto and Cam Davis, but I, and see all about the same, but this is guys who I'm probably going to be just beneath or right with the field on. Nobody overwhelming. I think if I had to pick one of those last four that I, that I mentioned, I'd probably pick Siwoo, who might be a little bit lower on than the other guys. But 
really it's uh, splitting hairs because I really don't have a huge, huge take on them. Uh, I will just be overloaded on, on Sam Burns everywhere. Okay. So now we're getting to the 7K range, which is where both my guys come from. Um, I, a, I think I know who one of them is now. Damn it. Right. So, 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 so uh, in any case, the, the, there, I, I will actually, there, there are three guys. And only because this contest that there were two that I had to highlight. I'll tell you who those are in a second. But so there's some wild ones, by the way. So this, this one, I'll get to the guys that are okay, but didn't quite get there. Luke List dropped out after day one due to vertigo last week. That's alarming. <laughs> it's pretty scary. That's why I'm not, I don't really have the goal, the balls to lock it in. But he's, he's, he's fine. Um, a couple of guys guessed Doug Gim, who is, is a pretty good player, but he's going to be a little bit too, too, too chalky for me. Um, a wild one, this is, this is, uh, so there are, okay, so one, not for the contest, I do like Step uh, Straka. Uh, he, I like him. Then the two guys, one guy that no one's going to get, um, that I'm betting also at 100 to 1 is Pat and Gazire. Um, oh, okay. He's a guy who's just showing okay. up pretty high for me, okay? But listen, guys, we, we really have to talk, okay? Because I really thought that I was going to gonna have to go to tiebreakers and a hundred people were going to guess this. Munoz. And the only person that knew was freaking Bobby. How many time, weeks in a row do I have to say that we like John Ha? Huh? Oh, yeah. Before you realize that this is going to be the guy I'm picking every week. Okay. Right. I mean, like we basically, he was in this featured in this, in, in, in my, in, like every week. I even had him in the 555 that, that, that cash for 20 K. I mean, you guys suck. I mean, honestly, someone is supposed to get this. And Bobby, in two seconds, says, oh, I guess, oh, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so yeah, I mean, he's my second rank value. He's still about 10% or less, maybe. Probably will get a little higher ownership because it can, nobody, the whole field can't have missed this. Um, and he's going to be in every lineup, probably, and he's going to be 70, and I have him at like 70 to 1 or something like that. So, um, and if you think, well, can he win? Remember, this is not the same field as, as, as some of the tougher fields. I mean, it's like a sheet slate, like the, like the Matt Jones slate. Anybody, anybody can beat Tony Finau as chalk. You know what I mean? Like, that's right. possible. Um, he never wins. Like, yeah, it makes sense. Like Dustin Johnson's out. You know what I mean? Like anybody, anything's possible. So, so he is definitely my top guy, like by a lot. Um, so just to review, so this ha. Huh? Straka, the Luke List wild one. Gim, I think, is a good play. He's just going to be a little too chalky. And Patton Gazire. That the, the Patton Gazire one is you are really like you're going for it. Because I don't even know if that guy is going to have like anybody play him. I, I like that sheets. I, I'm going to get on board just because you've been pretty good with these. So I'm going to get myself just for fun. <laughs> I like it, man. I, I, I'm into it. Um, John Ha is the guy who I have the most interest in in this range. Um, like you, or uh, I mean, but maybe not quite as much as you, but I, I really like him. He's definitely just keeps doing it. He absolutely. just keeps doing it. He's, a, he's just a good golfer who's yeah. consistently underpriced and I'm, I'm all about it. Um, I have a bunch of like, you know, just medium ish. Like I will have some shots on Munoz. I understand the course fits and everything are not ideal, but I think I, lo I love it by the way. He's the next, he would be the next one. Yeah. I think he's like a little bit getting overlooked here. And I, I just think that, you know, he's played, he played good golf um, even in the, in the, in the, match play he was playing well he had a nice match with uh with rom um i i i'm finding myself with like 10 percent of people except for munoz and uh and huh and Ryder. other than that everybody's in the 10 to 15 percent range and uh the one guy who i would i, I just I know he's been terrible, but this is the kind of uh, thing where I'll take some shots on Gary Woodland, I guess, and uh, definitely Munoz. Uh, ben, are we overlooking Benny on? I know he's struggled at times, but it's not like he's been entirely maybe as awful as people think, although he's been pretty bad. I mean, he does have a tournament win this year, like not a lot of people do who are in the 7K range. Um, uh, uh, just throwing it out there. Yeah, I would be remiss if I didn't bring up three other guys that are in my top whatever that are in this range. So Harry Higgs, which somebody did guess. I love he's that. Actually, yeah. He's actually a little popular. Um, Harry Higgs, uh, uh, Denny McCarthy's actually been doing better, and uh, Matthew Neesman. Um, So I figured I would throw those guys in also. Yeah, I like the Higgs call, actually. I forgot about him for a minute, but yeah, I do I do like Higgs. You, you, you like anything at first glance under 7K? I had a... I, for some reason, I had a note on my 
on my pad here when I opened my thing today that said Neesmith. I hadn't actually planned okay. on playing him, but that, yep. that, that note I'm going to take as a sign of uh, get myself a little bit of Neesmith. Okay. So I, I don't really have a whole bunch of other guys here. Um, I'm just looking down, making sure that I'm being accurate with that. Uh, you know, my part of my strategy for, for playing, and, and honestly, it's been working really well. I ended up making money again last week. Nice. Um, not much, but a little bit. Um, I, it was nice to have Horschel and uh, Chef. Well, well, one thing you did make, by the way, was 50 cents. Oh, I won the 50 cents. I'm, I only A bunch 50. of people got three, but nobody got four in the final four. I, I, I almost owe you, uh, I almost owe you, I only owe you 50 cents now. That's it, which I nice. think so. I think that's right. Um, and then maybe just going back to the unknown, the only thing I would say is may, maybe going to the unknown uh, Chase Seaford and Martin Laird is something I'll do in, you know, large field tournaments. The one guy I have just, you know, just for disclosure, I, uh, Scott Stallings. He's like the one guy I have under 70. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I didn't actually uh, come across. I, I don't think I'm going to need him. Uh, you may not need him. You know, I don't, don't think I'm going to need him. Um, I might, I, I tend to try and force in some of these, these guys in there and I'm just making sure I'm not missing anybody because, all right. So I have, uh, Jim Furyk, oddly enough, <laughs> nice. um, never feels like super exciting, but it feels like a course that, you know, is good for him. Are we going uh, back to the, to the Bohog. hog. Bo hog is the, the guy I was going to mention. Bo hog. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, unfortunately my one, my one, uh, the bane of that one, that one beautiful lineup that could have been something special um but uh, i do like bohog and i i there's another guy who i've come across multiple guys who know more about golf than i do um and i'm just trying to grab it real quick and it is uh grayson sig who i know nothing about but Ooh, i love it because i've never heard of him it's i've heard his name I've, I've, ne I've heard his name a couple times this week and i'd never heard it once before so nice um, a guy who i'm definitely considering for my things and you know what i can't resist cheats there's two guys who i actually really do think I might get some heavy ownership on because my strategy is play the young guys. Oh, who do we got? Project, right. Patrick Rogers and Will Gordon. Okay. Uh, both of them at the same price at 6,800. I, I could see myself with a decent percentage of them. Okay. So that's pretty much it for me on the, on the low tier. Oh, and as much as I hate to do it, and I think at this point it probably is just being stubborn and hoping that he returns to form of last year. Cause he has been awful. I mean, awful, awful. But I don't think this is the golfer that he is. I think he's better than this. And I, I think I might take a shot on Doc Redman. Let's go. I love it. I think that's a great one, actually. It's 2% right. also. Yeah, he's going to be on Hans. That's for sure. Um, all right. Do you want to do the, the game? Uh, yeah. So let's, let's go. So who's going to win the tournament? So winning the tournament, I've got as a – let's see. I actually want to write this stuff down so I remember. So I actually – since I – I mean, I look. I'm, I don't think Spieth is necessarily going to win, but I actually, he is the guy I'm going to pick. So I'll just say Spieth. I will go with. Uh, hmm. I'll go with uh, Scotty Scheffler. All right, I like it. Um, and then for the nine K range for the top fives, I'm I, I'm definitely going to go answer here. And I'll go uh, Corey Connors. Connors, okay, over uh, over our boy Tringala here, but I like that actually. Actually, I actually think Connors probably is a better play than and that's actually a good, it's an interesting one. Well, he's also going to be like twice as owned as Tringali also. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? I think okay. he's going to end up being closer than that. Um, okay. There's some write-ups from guys who are cash game guys that have oh, okay. all over the place. So uh, under nine k to make top ten? Oh no, top, yeah. Under nine k to make the top. Uh, this is so. Uh, it's Sam Burns. Oh, I, sure. I know it's 8K, but for sure, I think for, sure. for sure. Yeah. But I'll go with uh, Cameron Davis. Oh, I like it. Okay. Do we do the the, the cheapo now, right? To no, now we're going to go uh, yeah, under 8K to get top 20, I guess. Under 8K to get top 20. Um, I mean, we're both like the same guy. So That's I'm going to okay. let you have your huh, and I'm going to yeah. take my, my rider. I like that actually. I like the Sam Ryder. That's a, that's a good. That's a Rick play too. Oh, Sam nice. Ryder. Okay. Good to know. Um, which we didn't really talk a lot about. So yeah, definitely you want to get Sam Ryder in there somewhere. And I mean, you have to throw a seven K guy in to make the cut. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll go Stallings, I suppose. I mean, yeah, I think those guys have better guys to make. I think I think Jim Furyk would be if I had to predict who makes the cut. 
Okay. But I think that if I if I wanted to go for a guy who could maybe make a run here, I'm just going to mention those guys' names again in Will Gordon and Patrick Rogers. I mean, the problem is with no uh, – oh, there's baseball. I was going to say with no NASCAR, no MMA, I mean, I got, I got some money to spend, so I'm probably going to be playing a decent amount of golf. Um, but then I got baseball too, so it'll probably be the same amount as normal. So, well, okay, so – I'm we're, going, we're, like, how am I going to possibly wing all this? And Sheets is going, out oh, with no NASCAR, we just don't have as much going on. I'm sure. no, yeah, and it's only a, – so it's a, probably, a, probably a bad League of Legends slate if I know any better. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. So I think that's pretty good. I'm just making sure sheets, if I can hold you on here for another minute and, uh, maybe if you could give me one other, like maybe guy, um, I don't know if this is even the right thing to do. I just need to, I need to make sure I don't uh, load these things both at the same time. Uh, cause we're loading our basketball video right now. And if you do it, it, uh, you won't load both. Of them. So wait, so when you, when you just stop recording, you're telling me it loads automatically. You know what? It won't load automatically. I guess, I guess I didn't think this one through. I think that's just what I normally do or I often do. Yeah, I never do. When I, when I record it, how do you even record it? Are you recording it on zoom or on zoom? Yeah. So when I record it on zoom and then when I stop it, it just, it processes it and turns it into a video. Yeah, it does. But if you try and do multiples at the same oh, time. Oh, so zoom didn't even finish processing your last one. If you do it before the other one is upload, no, it, it finished. It just finished. It literally just oh, okay. finishing the second oh, as we're okay. talking. So we did it. We just stalled just long enough. Excellent. Um, we, see, you know, we stalled with. We, we stalled, stalled with stalling. Stop see stalling. What <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. All right, I will. Uh, I'll send you over a baseball link in the meantime. Hey, and by right. by the way, as long as we're stalling for a second, I, I'd like to say, I, I, I guess I take it as a compliment. I'm not sure it's an insult. I don't know whether it was this video or the basketball one. You're like, well, you know, for people our age, dude, you're like freaking 13 years younger than me. I, I talking about people in our, in our age, age group. Are you kidding you know, me? I said in our age range. I was just trying okay. to, I don't know. I mean, I, so, my, you know, my kids are not, my, my daughter's 15. She's not much younger than your son. That's true. That's true. That's um, true. Anyway. All right. Sounds good. Have a great week. Uh, good luck to everyone in golf this weekend. And uh, yeah, hit us up in Discord and let's uh, share some good lineups. Sounds good.